Alright, so today we are going to be doing part two of rebuilding the mini green ATV. So I'm doing a couple design changes. Uh, when I was first rebuilding this thing, I didn't think a torque converter would be able to fit on this project. And uh, after looking at it, I can fit one on here. It's only going to stick out to uh, right here, and it's definitely going to be able to clear my feet. And with this one, I'm definitely going to be wanting to put the cover on here. Mainly, I don't like to put the cover on just because I like the look of the uh, whole torque converter. But uh, anyway, now. Originally, I was planning on uh, taking this 5-inch uh, brake band and putting this on this uh, centrifugal clutch that's a f that's four and a quarter 
outer diameter and what that will allow me to do is not only be able to slow down while I'm in gear but it will also help me shift gears um, mainly because if if the thing is in neutral and the engine's running this thing's spinning like crazy I can just easily hit this brake and it will lock it up and allow me to shift gears a lot easier but because I'm replacing this with a torque converter we're not going to be using this so therefore go power sports gave me a brake disc and a brake disc caliper to put on the rear axle to uh, basically just replace the brake that was going to be originally on here. We're still going to have the foot brake. Let's take the centrifugal clutch off and replace it with the torque converter. It's too cold to weld. The wire's not coming out. Look at this. It's like coming out. There it goes. Okay. There it goes. Let me see if it'll work. There it goes. Yeah, this, uh, it's too cold to weld, this, uh, little welder I use, it's, uh, not wanting to work, so. It's like, it's like somewhere around 17 degrees right now, so, it's really cold, and, let me see if I can just get it to hold. It's kind of working. A little bit looks like crap though, but uh, it's kind of working. It's uh, I should really be preheating the metal because you know going from 17 degrees to whatever temperature this the welder gets up to, uh, it's having a hard time fusing. So it's working, but it's just not working that well. So. I'm going to do these other sides and see if it'll actually, you know, hold.
All right, so unfortunately I didn't finish this thing. I really wanted to finish this thing in this video, but um, I'm kind of running out of time and it's been really hard to work in this extremely cold weather. It warmed up today. It got up to 22 degrees or 25 degrees. That's warm for this week. It's been extremely cold this whole week, so working in this tiny shed with no heater, except that little thing that doesn't do anything, it's kind of been really hard. Anyway, now, the only thing we didn't do in this video is we didn't hook up the brakes, we didn't hook up the gear shifter mechanism, that's the only two things we still need to do. And I also still need to uh, mess around with the gearing because the gearing is not perfect. It's a, really, a, it's a lot lower than I originally thought, mainly because I made it for a torque, for to uh, have a centrifugal clutch on here, but now that I have a torque converter, now I have to uh, increase the gearing or decrease Whatever, whichever one is it, it is. So I gotta mess around with the gearing to get this thing perfect, but uh, I'll do that in the next video. And almost everything you see here is from Go Power Sports. The tires, the rims, the hubs, the torque converter, the gas tank, the seat, the header, the muffler, and the air intake, and the performance parts for the engine. Everything you see here is from Go Power Sports. I will leave a link in the description below to all the parts I used in this video. Go check it out. But anyway, I'm going to have to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day.